Hello, Ospreys, and welcome to this week's edition of Swoop Scoop. Many fans were disappointed this Sunday at the team's performance against the Texans and were quick to call them out online. To hear more, we go to Mallory Aldridge. Mallory? Thanks, Grace. Wide receiver Calvin Ridley had the worst performance of his NFL career with dropped touchdown passes and two false start penalties. The wide receiver responded to those calling him out, saying, end quote, I made a mistake. I can't wait to get back out there to show to fans, whoever, my mom, my family, and my teammates, that I'm working hard to be a great player. Ridley will have the chance to prove himself tomorrow, so be sure to tune in at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on ESPN Plus to watch. Speaking of Florida and Cats, Mallory has some important news about the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Jaguars will be heading into their 13th game of the season this Sunday, taking on the Cleveland Browns. This game comes right after two pivotal injuries on the Jags, Jags roster. During their Monday night loss against the Bengals, the Jags leading receiver Christian Kirk suffered a muscle injury and will have to receive core muscle surgery this coming week. He's expected to be out for about six to eight weeks. Later in the game, quarterback Trevor Lawrence suffered an ankle injury and was walked off the field, missing the rest of the game. After an MRI, it was determined that Lawrence had su suffered a high ankle sprain. While the injury was not as bad as expected, it is unsure whether or not he will play this Sunday. Back to you guys. Hey there, Ospreys. Welcome to Jags Central. I'm Mallory Aldridge, and here's everything you need to know about this week's Jags game. This week, the Jags will be playing the Cincinnati Bengals at home with the game starting at 8.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and the game's TV coverage will be on ESPN. Now, if you'll be heading over to the bank for the game, here's some things you need to know before you go. The Jags are now digital. You can access your tickets and parking passes with the Jaguars app. But please remember your parking passes are separate from your game tickets. And if you don't have a pass, no worries as there are various different cash lots available to park in. As for the gates, gates 1 and 4 will open 3 hours before kickoff for this fan experience zone and all gates will open 2 hours before kickoff. Everbank Stadium is also now cashless so please be prepared to pay with your card. Now for this week's tailgate recipe. The recipe chosen for this week is caramel apple cheesecake bars. These bars are a perfect treat for the holiday season. The ingredients needed are graham cracker crumbs, crushed pretzels, granulated sugar, unsalted butter, cream cheese, three large eggs, vanilla extract, peeled and chopped Granny Smith apples, ground cinnamon, light brown sugar, all-purpose flour, uncooked old-fashioned regular rolled oats, and caramel topping. To make the bars, first preheat your oven to 350 degrees and line a 13 by 9 inch baking pan with parchment paper or aluminum foil, leaving a 2 inch overhang on all sides, lightly spraying them with cooking spray. Next, stir together the graham cracker crumbs and the crushed pretzels and some of the granulated sugar and the melted unsalted butter in a medium bowl. Then place that mixture in the prepared pan and press into an even layer on the bottom of it. Next, bake the mixture in your preheated oven for about 15 minutes or until lightly browned. Then let the mixture cool slightly on a wire rack for about 15 minutes. While that layer is cooling, beat together the green cheese and the remaining granulated sugar in a large bowl with a hand mixer for about two minutes or until smooth and fluffy. Then add the vanilla extract and eggs one at a time, beating on medium speed until just combined after each addition. Next, gently stir together the apples, cinnamon, and remaining granulated sugar in a large bowl until fully coated. Then pour the cream cheese mixture over the slightly cooled crust and smooth into an even layer. Then spoon the apple pieces in an even layer over the cream cheese layer. Then without rinsing that apple bowl, stir together the brown sugar, flour, oats, and remaining melted butter and the remaining crushed pretzels and crumble with your fingers to form clumps. Then scatter those clumps over the apple layer in the baking pan. Next, bake your bars at 350 for 45 minutes or until golden brown and the filling has a slight jiggle. Then let the bars cool completely on the wire rack for about three hours. Loosely cover the pan with foil and refrigerate the bars overnight. To slice, uncover and grasp the overhang parchment or foil to remove them from the pan. Lastly, place the, on the pan, bars on work surface and slice them into the bars. Then top of your caramel topping. I'm Mallory Aldrich and here's everything you need to know about this week's Jags game. Get your faceters and teapots ready because this week the Jags will be playing the Buffalo Bills in London. The game will start at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and regular coverage of the game will be on NFL Network. Now for this week's tailgate recipe. The recipe chosen for this week are spicy bisquick sausage balls. This dish, dish was a different spin on breakfast and then I mentioned it's easy. The ingredients you need for this are bisquick, a pound of ground sausage, hot, mild, or turkey, whichever you, sausage you prefer, cheddar cheese, jack cheese, milk, yellow onion, and cilantro. To make the dish, you mix the bisquick sausage, cheeses, milk, onion, and cilantro in a large bowl. Shape the mixture into one inch balls, then place them onto a baking sheet and bake them in an oven preheated pre to 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes or until lightly browned. And then the last step, cool and serve. Well, that's another edition of Jags Central. I'm Mallory Aldrich and I'll see you next time. Go Jags!